Hi, I've got a four wheel Lockwood combination here. I know that Otty314 has already covered this combination lock in his excellent video and I'll provide a link to that video in the description. This is a lock that I bought for cheap because someone lost the combination to it and they were selling it cheap online so I bought it and I'm hoping that I'll be able to decode it. I don't know what the combination is, uh, it was just sent to me like this and the wheels turn a little bit rough. I know brand new these locks are nice but this one's been a little bit beaten up and uh, so I'll, I'll see I'll see what I can do to to uh, decode this. So I'm going to apply tension on the shackle. Okay, these um, whirls, as I say, it's an old beaten up lock. A little bit of moderate tension, and it's and it's. I just can't I can't turn these whirls at all. Okay, so I'm going to have to use uh, lighter tension. Mm. Okay, so light attention. Just going to start turning some of the wheels. So this is turning, turning, turning. Well, this one. Okay, so it, it jumped into this this gate, which is zero and I don't know if it's a true gate or false gate and I know this lock has gates every second number so if zero is a gate then zero two three four oh sorry zero two four six and eight will be the gates so so that'll be a gate turn it to two okay both of them are quite loose sort of turning from the top of the number to the bottom of the number almost and we're zero. It's even looser. It's right to the top of the number, to the bottom of the number. So zero is looser than, than two. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What I'll do is I will put all four wheels in gates first. So if there is a gate, okay, I think that's jumped into a gate here at, at zero as well and at two and so this will be the evens. This has jumped into a gate at five so this will be odd numbers. Okay, this jumped into a gate at four, so this will be even numbers. So even, even, odd, even. Okay. So as I said, zero is hmm. okay, zero is not, not as wiggly anymore. Let's go to two. Yeah, even less wiggly. Uh, so it's zero is still the wiggliest so far. Four. Hmm. Okay, it's a little bit wiggly. Okay, to six. Make sure they're all lined up. Oh, uh, only a little bit wiggly. Get to eight. Hmm, it's fairly it's wiggly ish ish. Hmm. And back to zero. Yeah, that's that feels a lot more wiggly. So I think zero is the true gate and those other ones were the false gate. So I'll leave it on zero and I'll go to the next wheel. Okay, so it's got this amount of wiggle. I'll go to four. 
Gee, if I can turn it. Well, that's that's um, seems a lot wig more wiggly than two. I'll just leave it on four. I'll come back to it if I need to. But that seems so much wigglier. I'm thinking four is the correct number. Okay, this one. Okay, it's this much, and it's odd number, so I'll go from five to seven. Yes, still running a little bit wiggly. Nine, still running a little bit wiggly. So I'm pushing in the shackle, turning it, and putting a fair amount of tension on it. Yeah, that's a lot more wiggly. Okay, so let's try, it's not four. Let's try six, and the lock's open. Okay, so that's how easy it is to uh, open this lock if you've forgotten the combination. So the combination's 0, 4, 1, 6. It's a, it's a beaten up lock, but it still works quite well. And a lot of people still can't get into it, but once you know about how to deal with false gates, it's quite easy to get into, even with a beaten up lock like this. Thanks.